Hello everyone! Today I've got a great no solder electronics tutorial for you. Got a Raspberry Pi Pico? Because that's all you need, so let's get to it. I'm using an unofficial Pico with USB-C connection that I got off AliExpress. Links in the description, but any Raspberry Pi Pico will do. Setting it up for flashing is really easy. You just hold down the boot cell button and connect the USB cable. You should see the Pico mounted on your PC now. Now you can do this one of two ways. First, I'll show you the easy way, which is just download a UF2 file from the releases page of the GitHub linked in the description and paste it onto the Pico folder that appears on your desktop. The Pico should automatically eject itself and then your mouse jiggler is working and you're done. The second way is to use the actual SDKs and write the code yourself. First, you'll need to download CircuitPython and flash it to the Pico, just like what we did with the UF2 file. Then a new drive called CircuitPy will appear. Download the library bundle for the same version of CircuitPython. Mine is version 8. Again, you can see the link in the description for downloads. Extract that bundle, open the lib folder, copy the Adafruit underscore HID folder into the lib folder on the CircuitPy drive. Now to write the code, you'll need Thony, which can be used for writing CircuitPython, MicroPython, and Python 3 code. In Thony, go to Tools, Options, Select Interpreter, and set the interpreter to CircuitPython with port set to automatic, and click OK. Thony will try to connect to your Pico. Click on File, Open, and open code.py on the CircuitPython device, which is the Pico. Delete whatever code is already there, import the USB underscore HID library and Adafruit's mouse support library, the sleep function, and then create an object to control the virtual mouse. Then we write our movement code. The code itself is pretty simple. We're just going to move the mouse a set amount and then wait half a second before moving it again. And we'll do this repeatedly. So you can tweak it however you like. I started with moving at 100 pixels, which was way too jumpy, and then I couldn't really handle it. So I turned it down to 5. Later on, I actually changed how my sleep commands worked, but overall, it's something very similar to this. So you're going to want to save the code to your device, and you should be good to go. If you plug it into the computer, it should just start jiggling the mouse. Now, you might see a USB drive pop up, and that can be kind of annoying if you're just plugging this in and want to walk away. So one thing to do is you can add a boot.py file, which will specify which USB devices you want to enable or disable. In our case, we want to disable CircuitPy from showing up. So we will import storage and then storage.disable USB drive on the boot.py file. Now, once saved, if you unplug and plug the jiggler back in, you'll see that the CircuitPy folder no longer opens. On another note, Thony will still be able to connect to the CircuitPy device, so you can always change this later if you want, just from within Thony. Alright, thanks for watching, and hope to see you in the next one.